welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our FCS playoff preview presented by anygivensaturday.com between the Eastern Washington Eagles and the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Eastern Washington. When you look at Eastern Washington in this ball game, you look at an offense that has hit their stride in the biggest way possible. You saw last week an aerial assault against that very tough Illinois State Redbirds defense, and I was very impressed with what they have done not only last week but all season long. They are explosive, and they should have numerous opportunities to hit big plays in the passing game this week versus Sam Houston. Defensively, I look at TJ Lee the third, the cornerback, and also Ronald Baines. Those guys are going to have to play huge games again this week by keeping their eyes on their luggage. You can't get caught looking in the backfield versus Sam Houston State. Otherwise, they can gash you with big plays. So look for Lee and Baines to have a huge impact on this ball game. Because if they can stay disciplined in the back half of the defense, then we know they can dial up some exotic blitzes up front to slow down the running game and get pressure on Brian Bell. Now let's move over to Sam Houston State in this ball game, and no team in the country has more explosive playmakers at every level than the Bearcats do. When you look at Richard Sincere, explosive playmaker, Chance Nelson, one of the more underrated receivers in the FCS division, and you also look at what they bring in the backfield in Timothy Flanders, so they can put up points in bunches as well. They're going to have to make this a horizontal game versus Eastern Washington. You want to make those defenders go sideline to sideline to wear them out, and that way you can strike down the middle of the field. Defensively, it's all about defensive line play when we talk about the Bearcats. They are stout up front. They do a great job in dominating and owning the line of scrimmage. If they can't get pressure on Kyle Padron in that passing game, it can be a long day because I don't care who you are back there in the secondary, you won't have the time or the luxury to cover because of the fact that you can't cover anybody for no more than three seconds. So defensive line play, pushing the pressure, pushing the pocket, I'm sorry, on Kyle Padron will do a huge favor for the guys back there in the secondary. I like Sam Houston in this ball game. One thing that's underrated about the Bearcats is their ability to play different styles of game. They can play up-tempo, fast-paced, or they can slow it down and lean on the running game with Tim Flanders. And their defense is stout enough to get that possession back for the offense. So look for these guys to out-possession Eastern Washington, who is probably going to face their toughest defensive test yet in Sam Houston. So I think the Bearcats will slow the pace down, run the football a little bit more this week, and look for Flanders to have another tough day on the ground and come away with the win and move on to a rematch in the national championship game.